Hello everyone, I'm Don Balance, the Director of Training Worldwide here at NewTek, and I'd like to welcome you to this Get Started training video for the NewTek 3Play 820. 3Play 820 is a 10-channel instant replay and slow motion system that uses NewTek's isocorder technology to allow you to record up to eight channels of high-definition video simultaneously. The 3Play also allows you to work with two independently mixed video outputs. Let's go ahead and take a look at the system. The 3Play 820 is a 4U rack mountable system. All of the audio and video connections are made on the back of the machine and we have eight video inputs. These can be SDI or component when working with high definition or SDI, component, composite or YC when working with standard definition. You can bring in a variety of resolutions and formats into one session. You also have the ability to bring in up to eight channels of audio, and this can come in analog through the XLR connectors, digital through the AES, EBU, B and C connectors, or you can use embedded SDI audio. The video outputs are shown here, and there are three video outputs. Video output A, video output B, and the auxiliary video output. You also have audio outputs here, and again, you can work with analog, digital or embedded SDI audio on the way out of the system as well. This is also where the monitors for the 3Play820 are connected and you have a connection for your main monitor and the multi-view monitor. There are a variety of USB connections on the machine and you use these to plug in the keyboard, the mouse and the included control surface. You'll notice that there are two power supplies on the back of the system and the two power cords will plug into these power supplies. The power supplies have a switch on the supply itself. You want to make sure that that switch is turned on. If you try and power the three-play system up and you get no response, it may be because these switches are not in the on position. On the front of the machine, there are four hot swap drive bays which have been populated with four two terabyte hard drives. Let's go ahead and power up the system using the power button located here.